This video is going to work through Building Java Programs Chapter 7, which is about arrays, self-check number 5, and here we're going to um, try to figure out how you kind of indirect through arrays. So we're going to be printing out this, this array that they're constructing here. They're going to construct it here, and then they're going to do all these operations here, and then they want us to write the elements with these squiggly braces, which is actually exactly how um, Java will print them if you just try to print an array. So uh, we're going to uh, have open up, uh, open bracket. There's going to be eight elements here indexed by 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so there's eight elements. That's after this first line. You, it's going to have eight elements. And by the way, I just did a video on 7.4 if you don't understand any of this format, but this is all is very similar to what I described in 7.4. Okay, so it's going to set numbers 1. Okay, so that's not the first element because that's actually number 0, but rather numbers 1 here is going to be 4. And number f numbers 4 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's actually the fifth element comes 99. Number seven, so that's four, five, six, seven. Oh, actually, we're wrong. We want zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, okay, sorry, I've got one too many. No, that's right. Uh, zero through seven. We should have eight elements. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven elements total. Uh, that's going to be two. Um, and uh, okay, so now get a little bit more complex. So first they set a variable x equals numbers of one. Okay, so x equals four. I'm just going to write this off to the edge. X equals four, just so we know what we're talking about here. Then numbers. Now, so this is what what I call an R value. That's it. That is a technical term. <laughs> an R value meaning the right hand side. So it's pulling the value out of numbers one. Now. We're going to use this as an L value, so it's the left-hand side. We're going to put something into here. So numbers of x, so x being 4, so numbers of 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we're assigning into this item 44. Okay, so you can use an array as an R value or as an L value. And finally, we're going to do an indirection here. An indirection means um, we're we're, we're going two different ways, okay? First, we're going to take a look at numbers 7 as an R value. We're getting the value out of it. So that's going to be the last element here. So that's 2. And then we're going to be using numbers 2 as an L value. So 0, 1, 2. This is numbers 2. It's going to be receiving the value 11. Now, um, so this is accurate when I'm talking about L values and R values. The book never describes them. It is a technical term uh, that you don't really need to know, but obviously it makes a lot more sense if I can actually explain to you whether uh, the array is being used as a value or it's being used to set a value. So that's why L value and R value are, are easier. Um, so we've got that evaluated here, and now let's try submitting. I don't think I need a semicolon. Yeah, so that all worked. So um, what did we learn in this? Um, so from 7.4, we already figured out this format here. And I, already, I started talking about when you can use uh, an array as a left value or, uh, or as a right value. Okay, You're getting or you're setting the value. Here, we figured out that you can not only just put a number when you're indexing an array, but you can put a variable or you can actually indirect through an array member to get to another array member. Okay, so this this expression here can be arbitrary or arbitrarily complex. You can use a method, you can use, you know, anything you want, but it does have to evaluate to an integer. Okay. It has to evaluate to you can't put a string in there, for example. Um, but you could have a mathematical formula in here, you could have all sorts of different things. All right, so that's 7.5. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. I've got a complete curriculum using the Building Java Programs Edition 4 with a lot of these practice problems in it.